This exercise is in essence an opportunity for two groups that represent two different cultures to plan for a meeting that they are going to have with each other. Um, they will then have this meeting with each other and afterwards you will take them through a discussion where they are able to consider what worked, what didn't work and what can we learn from this. The outcomes we're hoping for the participants to reach or the, the these would be the people in the training class or the, the event that you're putting together is to learn first of all uh, about cultural differences from an experience perspective. Um, also, it can improve the awareness of the importance of planning for meetings when you're meeting somebody from a different culture. And there's, of course, also the opportunity to use what you know about negotiation skills and about meetings to create a win-win outcome from that meeting as opposed to I win, you lose. But that would be, uh, that would be a stretch maybe if you've never done this kind of exercise before. So, the story goes like this. Um, imagine there's a world of four different cultures, um, different countries, and they interact with each other. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't go well. The write-up that I'm sharing with you, which you can download, contains sheets for all four of the cultures. But for this particular video, I'm just going to briefly go over, let's imagine it's about the green people meeting the yellow people and what challenges could they have in that meeting with each other. So uh, it's based again, as I said, there'll be a delegation from the green group that's going to meet with the yellow group and they will be using all the skills they have to prepare for that, have that meeting and afterwards um, be in a debrief session where you can discuss how did that go and learn from that. So each of the teams, so the green teams and the yellow teams, they have two sheets about culture. First of all, they have their own sheet. So they have a sheet in the deck that tells them exactly what are the values that we have as the green people. How do we behave? What do we value? How do we show up in the world? Then they will have a shorter brief sheet about the yellow people. And that will tell you from their perspective as an outsider, a non-yellow person, what do yellow people look like to us? And they're going to use that information to plan how the green team will go ahead and meet with the yellow people. And of course, the same is true for the yellow people. Um, they would also have their own full sheet explaining to them how they are behaving and, and showing up and what they value. And they will have a shorter sheet to explain to them what the green people are like. So there will be an assignment. Um, in the in the workup um, in the the downloadable resource which they will look at and they will use that to prepare for this meeting and the same with the green guys they will have an assignment they, they both know their meeting but they don't necessarily as is often the case have the exact same objectives for that meeting of how they want to show up and what they want to leave with from that meeting so they prepare they look at the sheets that's there, what they know, and they're going to prepare for this meeting. And then they will actually go ahead and have the meeting with each other. So they meet. Um, you'll give them some time to have their conversation. Uh, if your group is really big and not everyone can be part of the delegation, those who may be watching can take notes of how the behavior shows up for an outsider just watching. Do they notice anything? Does anything that one group does or says have an impact on the other group that's un um, surprising or unpredictable? Um, anyway, make notes uh, would be the, any extra people's uh, objective for them to do during the time the meeting takes place. Uh, then afterwards, as I said, you, you, there are some questions for you to consider uh, with the group. Uh, and that's simply an opportunity to say, how do we think this went? What went well? What could have gone better? And if we look at our own situation, our own teams where we are at, is there anything that we can take away from this exercise and go and implement with our own teams to improve our own intercultural interactions with each other? <laughs>